Welcome back to Travel Diaries, where this week we are discovering and exploring amazing hidden gems across the country. And I've made it to Malu, near Naivasha. I feel like I found heaven on earth, to be quite honest, because on paper, this place is spectacular. Not only do they have wonderful accommodation, but they also have great activities for the whole family to enjoy. Horse riding, donkey cart rides, they've got biking and hiking. They also have a special hot pool pool in the middle of the forest that you can take a dip in so I'm especially looking forward to that and they also have farm animals that you can feed so the children will absolutely love it so come with me as I unwrap this very special hidden gem that is Malu. Nestled in an ancient forest with sweeping views over the Great Rift Valley, Malu is a stunning getaway and the perfect base for exploring the Rift Valley and many national parks. A magical encounter with Kenya, just 90 minutes from Nairobi. 50 years ago, the entire escarpment was covered with this forest. Now, the Malu section is almost the only piece remaining. When you're surrounded by such amazing nature, scenery and beauty, well, you would like some luxurious, comfortable, warm and rustic accommodation. And that's what they have on offer at Malu. And they have various options for you, starting with the family villas, the private cottages for two. They also have the Mahindu cottages that sleeps uh, quite a few, four people. And it also gives you self-catering options, as well as this gorgeous tree house, which impressively sleeps eight. So here's a closer look at some of the accommodation options that you can take advantage of at Malu Lodge. All right, so this is what we said is very popular with the kids and the adults as well, the Malu farm, where you get to get up close and personal with their farm animals. And this is going to be, I think, um, an increased stage of terror for me because first I'm going to start off slow and feed the poultry some rice. And then I'm going to milk a cow and then I'm going to get up on a horse. I don't even know how I'm going to survive this, but hey, wish me luck. Let's get the birds fed. There you go. All right, satisfied customers. I think I get a gold star for feeding the poultry. Let's go uh, ride a horse and then milk a cow. I don't know how I'm going to manage this. So this is Lulu, and the reason I picked her out of all the horses is my cousins call Lulu. So if I'm going to trust any of these horses, it has to be family. So please don't let me down. Be nice. Yeah. Yeah, see, I told you I'm a natural. Oh, this is nice. Nice and simple. Come on, Lulu. To milk a cow now. Oh, I need to take this off first. 
All right, so I've got Stephen with me. He's going to be my buddy. So what do I need? This is what I managed to get. Not bad for a first timer, sort of. Hmm. Thank you, Cal. Malu is a stunning getaway destination and is loved for its breathtaking scenery and tranquility, and especially the opportunity for seeing flora and fauna without being trapped in a vehicle. Walks range from gentle strolls to challenging hikes, and they are superb riding trails for both novices and the more experienced. A unique plunge pool built into the Mahindu stream amidst overhanging figs and vines is fed by natural hot water springs and is perfect for a unique relaxing dip. Malu is the last remaining indigenous cedar forest on the eastern rift between Longanot and Nakuru and is recognized as an area of vital importance to the fragile ecosystem of the Navasha Basin. With an exceptional variety of indigenous trees, plants, birds and butterflies, Malu is also home to large numbers of black and white colobus monkeys, leopard, bushbuck and dick dick. And that winds up our amazing time at Malu. It's like they took everything you could possibly want out of a perfect holiday and wrapped it into one package called Malu Lodge. And the best thing is, this is a hidden gem that you can discover, explore and enjoy with your family because it's very child friendly. So I highly recommend it. And Kenya is indeed beautiful and blessed when it comes to the great outdoors and nature. So much to see, so much to discover and explore. So we have one more hidden gem coming up next with Nick right here on Travel Diaries. Lake Baringo is at the threshold of northern Kenya and its freshwaters are an oasis in the arid plains. This is the traditional home of the Gems tribe, a unique people who are the only pastoral cattle herding tribe who also fish. Among other pastoral tribes such as the Maasai, eating fish is a taboo. The lake itself is truly beautiful, surrounded by volcanic ranges that stretch as far as the eye can see. Small, exclusive and remote, I'm heading to a location that fits that description, a camp that offers the perfect opportunity to get away from all the humdrum of city life and all the usual tourist circuits. A chance to relax, recuperate and enjoy the beauty and tranquility of the idyllic Olkoko Island. I'll be staying at Island Camp in Lake Baringo. At the lake's heart is Olkokwe Island, a starky rock island in well-appointed unique luxury tented camp. Island Camp, built on a hill, the tents are perched on rocky outcrops or under trees with views over the lake. Island Camp holds a different allure for its many visitors. For some, the charm lies in its remoteness. For others, it's the comfort offered in a luxurious accommodation seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Island Camp comprises luxury tents with ensuite bathroom, whether twin, double or triple, perfect for family getaways. All tents are shaded by a roof of papyrus and are separated by green lawns and natural rockeries. They overlook the lake and beyond the Great Rift Valley. The majority of the tents face the east to catch the beautiful sunrise across the lake. For me, the highlight of the trip had to be the sight of early morning sunlight as you cruise across the lake, hippos wallowing in the shallows, waterfowl mingling with the basking crocodiles amidst the ringing sound of tree frogs. Scenes of the African fish eagle, which is among 400 other species in the area, hunting for fish from the lake are breathtaking. The bird identifies its prey from the trees and on the shores of the islands and using their claws swoops down on the fish flying back in a flash.
Now, with just over 400 species of birds right here on Island Camp, it's no wonder that this place offers birdwatchers a haven for which to enjoy their passion. The view of the surrounding Rift Valley are at their most spectacular from the refreshing clear pools situated at the pinnacle of the camp. Winding paths lead down from the pool to the informal dining and bar areas. The dining room overlooks the lake and it's common to see birds perched on the ledges waiting for crumbs. What makes Island Camp such a perfect getaway is that cell phone signals are receivable only in certain locations. In addition, there's only a generator which is on for a few hours a day, so and no TVs, making this a lovely place to simply get away from it all. Now, while planning a trip, most of us dream of finding that picture-perfect spot away from other visitors. But there's no better feeling than going out there on your own, going back home and telling your friends tales of exotic and yet-to-be-discovered places and activities. Trust me, I do it quite often. Now, Old Coco Island in Baringo is just the place waiting for you to experience it. What's so funny about me standing next to Hippo What's so from, funny? <laughs> What's so funny is that Hippo didn't even know you existed. He couldn't even okay, sniff about you. Ten meters, ten meters away. You no, know, it was it was a bit scary. Nick, you are nowhere to be seen. I think you're inside. Maybe indoors. next time I'll go kayaking with a hippo. Maybe that'll make a you difference. You wish. <laughs> but it was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on our first episode of Travel Diaries, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did exploring Kenya. I had heaps of fun exploring it. I mean, sitting down with hippos, climbing rocks, and going across crocodile infested waters you can't get it better than that yeah he and hippos are now long lost pals we are, we are we are totally we're bonding bonded. <laughs> if you would like more information on the stunning locations you've just seen well go to the link on your screen right now now don't go too far because next week's episode we're going to be covering honeymoon destinations and yeah. we're going to four different destinations which promise to be amazing and spectacular for you to spend that time with that special person so stay tuned for next week's show of travel Diary.